Perhaps the most common thing you'll want to do from your private administrator site is to add new content to your website in one of the many sections or categories that uh, your site perhaps has. The way to do that is to go to this add new content button. Click on that and it'll bring you to a window which has what looks like a word processor window uh, here inside. This is where you add any details for a new item. So for example, the title or the heading. So let's say we're gonna add a welcome message. You can choose your, uh, what section to put it into. I'll make that into the news section. And what category? We only have one on this particular demo, latest news. Then basically I can type like in a word processor, any words I like, even gibberish. Um, and basically lay this out exactly as you would a document in Word or any other word processor. Many of these buttons will look familiar from word processors, for example bold, italic, underline. The way to apply any of these effects is to highlight the bit that you want to affect and then hit the button. So if I want to make that bold, it's done it there in the window for you. Similarly, if I want to change the colour or any of the font, perhaps the font size or the colour, all these buttons you can experiment with, but uh, they're very, very simple if you've used any word processor in the past. When you finish completing your news item, simply scroll to the top of the page and click the Save button, and that will automatically have created this new content item here. You may end up with a list of many content items here that make up your website. I'll briefly run through what these things uh, mean. The title is obviously the heading. Published refers to whether or not this item is available to the public on your live site. So for example, if I click that, it will toggle it to unpublished, which is a red cross. That means that, yes, I've made that item, but nobody can actually see it. Uh, when I'm ready for people in the real world or on the internet to see that, I just simply publish it and it will be visible. The next one is uh, whether the item appears on the front page of your website. So yes, it will appear in the news section, but would I also like it to appear on the front page? I'm going to choose yes just to demonstrate what that does. That item will now appear in two places on my site. Uh, ordering is so that when we get many items you can decide which order they appear in on the live site and we'll go through that perhaps at a later date. And uh, some of these other, these other variables basically tell you where that information or that content item has been stored. So this one has been stored in the news section under the latest news category. You may also have perhaps um, another category uh, which may be international news, for example, which may be only content items, which are still news, but perhaps they're from overseas. And so you may decide to categorize those differently and they may appear in different parts of your site.